Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have Bath & Body Works empties for the month of August. Once again, there are not a lot of empties that I have. I haven't used like a ton of stuff, but I will show you what I have used up. I will say really quickly, because I know a lot of people really loved my candle empties, I have been burning some candles. I just haven't finished them. And so I want to show them to you because they're not empties yet. So I have been burning candles. There are more candles I intend on burning um, now that it's it's the September 1st right now, um, today, I shouldn't say right now, <laughs> right this very minute, it's September 1st, um, no, today is sept <laughs> September 1st, and so it's a lot cooler here in Minnesota, I'm starting to get in that fall mood where I want to melt the fall scents, and so I'm looking forward to that, there are a bunch of candles I want to chunk up as well, those are going to be the candles that I know to not burn well, there's only like a couple I'm going to chunk up for now, um, but yeah, I do have some that I want to burn and that I have been burning and those will probably be in my next month's empties. So now that I have spent time talking about that, I will show you. I know we talked about this. I did a video where I chunked up this lavender coconut candle cause it just, I couldn't smell it when it was burning. Um, and I chunked it up and so I labeled it right here and so I'm just going to use it in my melter and I asked if you guys wanted me to show you these in my empties video even though it's like, it's technically already a candle empty but I did melt it so I wanted to talk about my experience with melting and you guys seem to be interested in it. So, um, lavender coconut, is, it's actually melting in my bathroom right now. And has been and it's it's pretty light it's pretty light for my bathroom I know a lot of people had this scent and it was really successful for them but and even chunking up candles and the weird thing is it smells strong right now like this is really messy because I actually there were crumbs at the bottom and so I held it like this and like shook all the crumbs out so it's like that's why you see crumbs everywhere all up here because I had it tipped upside down but I wanted to use up like all the small crumbs and smaller pieces like that first but I feel like this is a good scent for the bathroom I'm gonna keep melting it in the bathroom or in my centerpiece warmer and my bedroom and until I use it up and that's that I feel like it might be a scent I get sick of so I'm not gonna just use it straight but that would be cool if I could use it by the end of next month so that I'm not hanging on to it um, I thought I would like it more than I did it's a it's a good blend of lavender and coconut but um, I mean, it's nice, it's just not, I was hoping it was like really going to blow me away, but it did not. Okay, so I have this unit right here, Waikiki Beach Coconut. This is the white sand body scrub, which was a foaming body scrub and it did have like little, like almost like sandy beads in it for it to be called a scrub. Um, I do really like this scent definitely a summertime scent. I don't think I'm going to purchase it again anytime soon, obviously, anytime soon because it's not going to come out. It wouldn't come out until spring or summer next year, but anyway, I do like this formula of this body scrub. This is something I would definitely re repurchase, um, and this is, I believe, my last body cream other than the um, Beach Nights ones that I've hoarded, because I probably have like four or five of. Um, so I'm really proud of myself for getting through this. I tried to focus on the scents that have, I'm pretty sure, oh gosh, now I'm going to say that and then I'm going to like go look and there will be like three more body creams, but I'm pretty sure this is the last one and that I felt like I would be rewarded at the end of this month by being able to see that I don't have any more body creams. I'm not going to buy them because if you're new to watching Bath & Body Works empties videos or Bath & Body Works stuff at all, the body creams don't last as long as the lotions. I believe they don't have, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Preservatives or as many preservatives. I don't know which one, if it's zero or just fewer than the lotion. Um, and so they just don't tend to last as long. So I cut off the end of this when it gets down to like here and I just can't get it to squeeze out. And I actually slid it down the side and then slid it open. So like that and then just try to use it. I don't know if you can see. That's not lotion. Well, there's like crumbs of lotion, but this was not a good way to cut it. Normally I cut it right here down the middle and then I can reach this way to clear out that end and this end, but I just decided to do it this way. I was just in a hurry one day. 
So I like the scent. I like the body creams. I just wish they lasted longer. That's a nice summer scent though. I only used up one soap. This is my very last soap that I have from Bath and Body Works. Can you believe that? This is my last soap. I'm using other soap right now just to get through it. And then I will be purchasing more Bath and Body Works soaps. Probably when there's a soap sale. If you're friends with me on like Facebook, tag me when there's a soap sale or something. Because I'm not getting the Bath and Body Works emails for some reason. So I don't know what's going on in the Bath and Body Works world. But I love this scent. I would buy a ton of this Black Cherry Merlot scent. If you're looking for a nice soap scent. Oh man, this is just so good. I could just live off this soap forever. And probably never get sick of it. So there is that. I like the foaming ones better. No, the deep cleansing ones better than the foaming ones. Sorry. As far as the soap formulas go. Alright, I finished this Radiant Red Maple Wallflower. I love Radiant Red Maple. It's a great scent. It was... Um, for one year only, and and then I found these, <coughs> excuse me, 75% off like the following season um, at a semi-annual sale. It smelled really nice It toward the end. I mean, it went all the way down. You can see I used the whole thing up, but toward the end, it was like hit or miss whether you'd smell it, but I love that scent. And then actually the last things that I have to show you are... A couple, they're actually two. I have um, leaves, scent portables. So this is the one that was in my car that I just took out. So there's that. And then I took the lid off this and this is in my car right now. So I'm just going to tell you about it now. Um, and you might see like the empty thing. But I always forget about them and then like months go by. So I'd rather just show you this that I'm using this. These usually only last like one, maybe two weeks of a decent scent when you get in your car. It smelled great. It reminded me of fall. Um, leaves is a good scent, but um, they just don't, I don't know, they don't last. They don't last, so I don't like them. I'm not going to purchase any more of those unless they're like a scent I really, really like and, I, and I've heard is really strong um, because they just, they don't last. I'd rather get like a Glade plug-in thingy or try a Yankee one or something. I mean, my sister has ones that smell so strong in her car and she buys like cheap ones from Target or Walmart or something. So that is it, you guys. That's everything I used. Not very exciting. <laughs> I I probably would have gone through more soaps, but I, like I said, I've been using different soaps to try and use them up and get them out of my collection or like my, you know, stash of things. So that's pretty much it. Yeah. If you have any questions, leave them down below any comments, and I will see you guys in next month in my empties. Bye.